Well, <laughs> let's talk about Gollum. Lord of the Rings Gollum. What is up with it? Why is it bad? You want to know. I have answers for you. I have thoughts. So I just finished streaming Gollum, my first stream of it. Uh, streamed for about an hour and a half. So I played about an hour and a half of it. And what I can say to you is that, yeah, those graphics are bad. <laughs> They're really, really bad. They leave much to be desired, especially for the specs of the game. The specs of the game, this game has ray tracing. Guys, why does this game have ray tracing? Why do any games really have ray tracing? That was a question that I have. But let's put that aside. That's a topic for a whole other video, my, my discussion of ray tracing. That could be a video all its own. This game does not have great graphics. Does it need great graphics? I don't know. But why they tried to sell it like, oh, this game is like, you know, you need all these specs because it's going to look so good and price it at $70. I, I feel like if they wanted to do that, they should have delivered a little bit more. I think this could be maybe a $40 game would be reasonable based so far on the story. The story is, seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. I like the idea that you can play Gollum and Smeagol and you're deciding sort of which side takes control um, at what moments. And the interesting thing too is that although I'm more inclined to play Smeagol being usually in an RPG, the character that always plays all the goody two shoes, I will also say that I think I could see a world where, well, I mean, there already have been moments in the game where I felt like Gollum suits this better. So I like that it, like, it's not even probably you're going to pick one. Like, you might do a combination of both. I can already see the potential for that. And I think that idea, that concept is super cool. So I'm a fan of the concepts of the game. I think the story so far is fine. Um, nothing crazy has happened yet, but really it's just depressing because we're in prison. But I like the idea of this, and I like the idea of where the story could take us. Does Gollum have too much hair? This is a complaint I saw online, and I'm gonna say, yeah, I think he does have a little too much hair. He probably should be a little bit more baldy in this based on how he appears in the movies. Interesting choice to give him more hair, but yeah, mainly my biggest qualms are that this is janky, it doesn't look great, and it is not always intuitive when it comes to figuring out how, where I'm supposed to go next. The map so far leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know how to eat things. I, I mean, I know how to eat things. There's a little tutorial at the beginning where you eat mushrooms, that I nailed. But I've been picking up worms. I don't know what those are for, or if I'm supposed to eat them. That's kind of a concerning thing because I feel like my health is, I'm running the risk of like dying just from being near heat, kind of what it feels like. So uh, that's a bit, unfortunate. But I think the idea of this game is awesome, and I think it has potential to be just fun. Am I gonna finish it? Yeah, I'm probably gonna finish it, to be honest. I am having a good time. Ha however, I guess the other thing that we need to talk about here is like, when it comes to the graphics being bad, what does that really mean for the game? I would argue that this is a game where we actually probably didn't even need great graphics. Like at the beginning of the game, I kind of chatted a little bit about how there's a little opening sequence, which is very like storybooky. Like it feels like, you know, um, kind of actually reminds me of the <laughs> animated <laughs> Lord of the Rings uh, movie. But um, I was actually thinking to myself, this sort of storybook more style in terms of the uh, the way, the style that they decided to go with for the intro to it, I think actually would suit this game a bit better for what it is. I don't think it even needed to be where it's at graphically. I just feel like they tried to do too much and they should have done less and it would have been better. Approach it as more of like an indie game as, as opposed to a giant, $70 game. That would be my suggestion to the designers for something like this. Not that I've ever designed a game, so maybe don't listen to me. 
but for, I guess, not even the designers, just the people that are in charge of how this game was done. Like, I don't really understand for what it is, why they decided to go like sort of more mass market, everyone buy it. Like, I, I do understand because money. And I guess because they have a big, you know, um, IP here with Lord of the Rings. So Lord of the Rings is like, everyone loves Lord of the Rings. So we're gonna do it big. It's gonna be Gollum and it's gonna be all of these flashy things. And the graphics are gonna be crazy and we're gonna put ray tracing. We're gonna have a, there's a setting for like making Gollum's hair better. And it doesn't make it better. Spoiler alert, it doesn't make it better. We're gonna do all these crazy things. We're gonna have an epic setting for our graphics epic that's how high you can turn it up also spoiler alert epic looks the same to me almost as medium the only difference that i could see was a little bit of texturing that's the major difference so and and i guess the light a little bit light and texturing um Gollum still looks insane his eyes his eyes look like marbles they don't look like real eyes and i don't understand why because we should be able to deliver on eyes. I've seen eyes done so well in video games, like so much depth in an eyeball. And Gollum has these big eyes that you could just get lost in. I think it would really actually add to the character to have that. And his eyes look like they're made out of glass. Like they don't look real. They do not look like real eyes. Gollum in general, when you look at him from the front is pretty freaky. It does not look good. It does not look normal. And not in a Gollum way, just in a bad way. Just in a bad design choice way. Uh, but why they decided to be like, yeah, we're going to have everything. We're going to have bells and whistles. Like, Gollum's going to look amazing. This game's going to be crazy. They could have just said, you know what? Actually, this game is just going to be a small game because we want to do something quirky with it. Because I think that would actually lend better to the style. But they said, no, we like money. So we're going to do this and not do something that actually suits what kind of game this seems to be just based on how it I don't know it just feels more low-key and I, I actually really like that about it I like the approach they were taking with this idea of like what's a golem game like it's unfortunate that they ruined it by promising too much and not delivering and trying to make it grander than really it needs to be golem doesn't need to be that I will say something that I am enjoying about this game is just how like fit golem is just running around he can like leap high in the air like I'm just enjoying how crazy jacked and capable Gollum is that is uh insane to me and I love it so I am enjoying that I think that's very cool I think I'm gonna enjoy the story and I think I'm gonna enjoy just running around as Gollum but what I'm not going to enjoy are the jarring graphics that have a tendency to sometimes take you out of it and the glitchiness because it is very glitchy I can already tell uh I've seen some pretty bad glitches I've seen people running around the floor disappears I've seen some bad stuff online and I can already tell just from the lagginess in the game and just how there's stuff that disappears and reappears and like I looked at a wall and then the wall rendered like it's just it's lagging a lot it's slow so I can tell it's probably going to get worse because this is also the beginning of the game so you would think when people are designing stuff when they're fine to I don't know if this is true but I'm just guessing you would fine tune it from the front of the game back because then when you're putting the patches out in the coming days at least you could patch that hopefully before someone gets to it is the idea so yeah those are the things that I would rather didn't exist in this game and that were better uh or just approached in a different way but hey uh it's a game and you could get it I don't know if it's the worst game of the year I don't know if I'd go that far but I'm gonna have to keep playing it to really tell you. So if you wanna watch me play it, you can watch me over at twitch.tv slash vampx13. I stream live. I'm actually going to be having a Lord of the Rings month where I'm gonna be doing cosplay, probably some baking, maybe building Legos, video games, different Lord of the Rings video games. I have three different ones I'm playing. I'm gonna be doing uh, tabletop stuff. I'm gonna be doing a board game probably and I also have card game stuff coming that's very exciting <gasps> so make sure you tune in over on twitch.tv slash 13 for June for Lord of the Rings month I am very excited to see you there maybe we'll play some more Gollum and maybe I'll put my VODs as well edit them a bit and put them up here or have someone edit them I'll probably edit them but yeah all right friends that's basically my takeaway on this I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later stay nerdy bye